Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see a one more concept in hashing in data structures that is hash functions. So in our previous session, we have seen the concept of hashing. So in order to improve the efficiency of storing the data and retrieval the data from the memory, we are going with this hashing problem. Okay, hashing concept. So uh, taking the key value and applying the hash functions on that particular key value will produce a code which is called as a hash code which will be making a reference to the memory. So directly if you want to search any key, so directly we, by using the same hash function easily we can retrieve the data from the memory. So in our previous session we have seen the time complexity of either linear search or a binary search is more than by using this hash function because linear search will be having uh, the worst case time complexity as an order of n and the binary search is having the worst case time compli complexity as order of log n and by using these kind of hash functions the time complexity will be reduced to a constant. So simply by order of 1 we can get the data from the memory. Now we will see what are the different types of hash functions available. Because, so on the key, we are going to apply this hash function which produce the code which will be acting as a reference to the memory, right? Now we'll see the hash functions. Hash functions. So the name itself indicates this is a function which can be applied on the key, right? So usually this hash function will be represented with H of K. So that means K is a key. Usually the elements will be represented, for example, in our previous session we have seen some elements like 10, 20, some 40, some 34, some 45, etc, etc, right? So these are nothing but a keys. Similarly, there is a one more kind of data that is a key value pay, the key value pay. So which we can treat it as 10, okay, and you can uh, write it some A, B, C. This is the value for this particular key and the 20, uh, this is a D, E, F, okay. So this, this kind of thing will be calling as a key value pair. So whenever we apply this key to the hash function, so automatically we'll be getting hash code, hash code. So where we will store the data A, B, C. A, B, C will be stored in the data, in the hash code, which is generated by applying some hash functions on the value 10. So we can consider anything. So usually in our previous session, we have considered these normal values as a keys. So I'll continue the same, right? So let us consider these are the elements and there are a few hash functions here in order to produce the hash code, right? So see the first one is a division method. Division method, right? So for example, what we have done is, here there is a key which will be applied the hash functions which will produce us some hash code which will be referring the hash table. So this is the thing we have seen, right? So hash table, this is a hash table, right? So we are taking, in this division method, in this division method, the hash function is nothing but, okay, so, k modulo of, let it be m, where m is a size of a table, size of a table, okay, so m is a size of a table or it can be greater than size of a table, that's also no problem, it should be a greater than size of the table, so this is the division method, so where we are considering some key value, and we are applying some modulo with the size of the table. For example, the size of the table is some 10. Okay. So the indexes will be from 0 to 9. The indexes will be from 0 to 9. Index will be from 0 to 9. Now, for example, for example if there are some elements, some uh, 12, 34, and 43. Now consider 12. So 12 mod, what's the size here? 10. 
So which will give the value as 2. So that implies this 12 will be stored in the index of 2. So if this is a table, hash table, so there are different entries from 0 7, 8 and 9, right? So, 12 mod 10 which gives a 2, that implies in the place of 2, we are storing the value 12. So, whenever we want to search this 12, simply again we have to apply the same hash function so that directly we can get the index value, from that index value we can get the data. This is a simple process. This is a simple process. Now, coming to the 34, so 34 mod 10 which gives the result as 4 so in the index 4 we are placing 34 index 4 we are placing 34 so whenever we require 34 if you want to search at the 34 simply we will apply the division method that is a modular method so that we will be getting the directly hash code which is a reference to the memory and similarly 43 so 43 mod 10 which gives it as a 3 that means a 43 will be stored in an index 3. Right? So this is the way where we can use this division method which gives the key value mod m. m here is the size of the table. Usually we can take the size of the table and also sometimes we can give a more than the size of the table, not less than the size of the table. Right? So hope you understood this one. And here there is a problem. So actually this kind of problem will be arranged in all the hash functions. What means if there is an element called uh, 52, in which index we have to store this 52? So 52 mod 10, the result will be 2. The result will be 2. Now you can check in the index 2 already the element has been stored. So again, by this method, we are getting 52 that should be stored in the index 2, which is already filled with some other element. So this type of uh, process, we call it as a collision. Okay, collision. So for every hash function, there is a possibility to have a collision. So don't worry about that. So we'll discuss about the collision avoidance techniques in our further sessions. So this is a one method where we can improve the efficiency to store the data into the memory and retrieve the memory and particularly this is a division method this is a division method so the main drawback of these hash functions is a collisions right yes so we'll go with the next method second method that is a mid square method mid square method so i'm erasing everything mid square method mid square method so in this what's a hash function hash function first we need to apply the square of the key and we have to avoid the leading numbers and the tailing numbers one by one and we have to consider the middle part and that will be the hash code for that particular number for example see h of k is equal to middle element of k square middle element of k square so this is the method where we can use right so let us consider this one example let us take an example for example let us take some 12 okay so this is a key value. This is a k value. First, apply the k square. So, k square is equal to 144. Now, you have to remove the leading and tiling spaces. Leading and tiling spaces. So, you can remove the leading space and the tiling space. So, this is the middle value. And which is nothing but 4. It is a hash code. Hash code. So, in the hash table, in the hash table. 
So there will be some indexes. So starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So in the 4, we have to store a 12. So here the 12 will be stored. There the 12 will be stored. So here we need to take care that so if the number of digits increase, automatically the square of that particular digit will be giving more number of digits. Okay, so which will be beyond the range, right? So that overflow will be considered here. And obviously we have to remove the uh, he uh, heading and tailing spaces, I mean the digits, right? So if it is for example, uh, let, us, let us consider some 123. So we need to do the square of 123. So 9, 6, 3 and uh, 6, 4, uh, 2 and here uh, 3, 2, 1. So which will be 9, 2, 1. So it will be 11, it will be 5 and it will be 1. So if you want to store 123, so this will be the key value and k square which is nothing but 15129. So simply remove the leading and tiling digits. So remove this one first. And again, you can check whether there is a, uh, we, can, we can remove the left and right digits. Yes, we can also re remove the five and two. And again, check whether we can remove the left and right digits. No, so there is only one digit here. There is only one digit here. So obviously in the position of 1, we can store a 122. In the position of 1, we can store the 122. So here also the one drawback is hash uh, uh, collisions. So we may get the index or hash code. So where already the element has been stored. So that is a one problem here. And also overflow. If the, if the digit, uh, if, if the number is having more number of digits, obviously, uh, calculating the square will give you a lot of digits okay so that's a one more problem in this mid square method right so usually we need to calculate the square and then we have to remove the leading and tiling digits one by one okay so that will be the hash code so here one will be the hash code so one so in one we have to store the one point two. okay now the next method is a folding method the next method will be the folding method let us check for more number of digits okay for large number large number of digits we will be usually going with this method that is a folding method so this will be works well for the large number of digits uh, i mean a number with a more number of digits folding method so what we will do is we will be dividing into equal segments and we will be adding them and we will be applying the division method then, right? So H of K will be treated as, so uh, K1 plus K2 plus and so on and divided by mod of M, mod of M. So example, let us take some 1, 2, 3, 4, okay, 1,234. So this will be divided into k1 plus k2 so which is a 12 plus 34 so which will be 46 so that will be applying for the mod and if the size if the table size is uh, let it be uh, some 20 okay so then the result will be 6 the result will be 6 right so in this sixth position, we have to store this 123. So, so 1, 2, 3, 4 will be stored here itself. Okay, so we will be dividing the complete number into segments and then we are adding those segments and then we are applying the division method. So this is a division method. So uh, apply, uh, taking concerning the key mod size of the table. So automatically we'll be getting the hash code. In that hash code, we are supposed to store the data. So this is a simple folding method. So this hash function is represented as H of k, which will be giving the hash code. So this will be the hash code. So this will be the hash code. So which will be acting as a reference to that particular uh, memory location. So in this six, we are storing this 124. 
So whenever we want to search for this 124, simply we can go with the 120, 1, uh, 1234 and we can divide it. So we can apply 12 plus 34 and again apply the same hash function, ha same hash function and we can check directly in the position 6 whether it is having or not. So obviously the time complexity will be reduced than the linear search or the binary search. So the only problem will be for all the hash functions is collision. So we have to take care about the collision. So we can handle the collisions and we can also avoid the collisions. So we'll see the avoidance or handling these collisions in our further sessions. So hope you understood these uh, hash functions. So we have discussed about the three major hash functions. One is a division method, second one is a bit square method and third one is a folding method. The common disadvantage will be the collisions, right? So let's stop here. And uh, if you are having any doubts regarding this one, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely, I will try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.